hey dolls so I'm back with another video and I'm shooting this video right after the video um, that I did about the Toys R Us because I did want to go ahead and open this doll up because it's just really aggravating me I'm hoping that her face mold is salvageable <laughs> and this video is about my this video is really about the Amazon doll that I got now this is another fashionista and I'm gonna unbox them together because um as you can see she was recommended on her box okay so they're kind of part of the same little group and this is the little Amazon sticker right here as you can see it says Amazon warehouse deals inspected now I should have just probably went ahead and got this doll for $12 but I bought her for $10 on the Amazon warehouse deal um just to see how she looks and so when you get the warehouse deals basically the boxes in, aren't per in perfect condition but the dolls are supposed to be in pretty good condition so she looks okay she doesn't look exactly how I remember seeing her when I went to Target though it looks like her eyes are kind of wide set so I don't know what kind of juju happened to me this week with my dolls um, but everything else seems okay. Like, I like her outfit. It's just that her that her eyes seem further apart than I expected them to be. What do y'all think? Like, do y'all see that? Or am I just tripping? Because my other doll, like, really threw me off. Um, <laughs> y'all let me know. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and open up these dolls so that we can see what they're working with. So, as soon as I went ahead and took her out the bag, the box is pretty much, um already open so I guess that was you know what it was about but it does seem that everything else is packaged inside pretty well you see so um we're gonna start with her since she can't stand up <laughs> by herself take her out and see what she's working with all right so now that she's out um I think she looks pretty good she's in pretty good condition I must say and as I said this was an Amazon warehouse deal doll you can see her skirt I do like the detail on the skirt with the red um, stitching that's pretty cute I love this top I love all her clothes that's one of the main reasons I wanted this doll also I want her because she's a brunette and I really don't have brunettes but now that I've have her I'm realizing that she has like two tones so she kind of has the the brown going on but then she also has the black and her hair is not in the best of shape it has kind of like that um glue type of material on it I don't know why they did it like that instead of just leaving it um regular I don't know if that has to do with the packaging or if that's just how she comes because some of the dolls do come like that then she has a cute little purse on she has her boots and a bracelet and I love her brown shades also then she also comes with accessories she has this cute little clutch all right i love the clutch i love the details on it also she has a red flower necklace and she has a cute pair of silver heels her additional outfit is this um orange dress and this kind of reminds me of sun kissed <laughs> but um i like it i think it's a really pretty dress and then she also comes with a jeans romper and this isn't jeans material but it is um it does have the resemblance of it as it's printed on the fabric so I'm gonna go ahead and try these clothes on her to see how they look okay so I really love this outfit on her this was one of my favorite outfits when I actually saw the set I went ahead and kept her in her boots with this outfit and her bag um, I tried to put the necklace on but it didn't really look good with this outfit so we'll try it on with the next outfit and then I didn't want this bag with the bracelet I just I don't really like matchy matchy stuff like that so I didn't do that um but yeah so, so check her out do a little 360 overall I must say that um, I'm pretty satisfied with this doll I like her I think she's cute even though her eyes seem far apart to me but again it could just be my paranoia from my last doll that's in the bag <laughs> but um I think this is this is really cute so I'm gonna try her on in her last outfit and then we're gonna open up number 34 okay so I absolutely um I love this outfit I think it's so cute one that's what that was one of my main things that I had to get this doll because her outfits are just fabulous um but yeah I put this as you can see I let her use the clutch because I wanted y'all to see her with the other accessories 
I even think that this necklace is really cute with that. Even though I feel like the necklace could go with this outfit as well. Um, but I think it's cute with the dress. And then I put her in her silver shoes so that y'all can see how she looks. And if I didn't say it already or if y'all didn't see it on the box, she is a petite doll. And as I said, I got her from Amazon Warehouse Deals. And I only paid $10 and some change for her. So, um, I'm, I'm satisfied with her. I think she's cute. I think she's a real cute doll. So she's definitely going to be on the real Barbies of Atlanta. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make her a student or if I'm going to make her a teacher. I feel like she can go either way. Definitely she looks like a mature doll though. So yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think. Should I make her an adult on the real Barbies of Atlanta or should I make her a teenager? Okay, and now for the moment of truth. Oh my gosh, that doll just looks so crazy to me. <laughs> Like, y'all don't understand how disappointed I am. That's supposed to be a beautiful doll. Um, I'm really tempted to just take her to ToysRUs.com and be like, here, y'all played me with my Toys R Us rewards points. Y'all sent me a defective doll. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and open her up anyways. And then... As I said, I'm going to end up just probably repainting her face. I wasn't planning on doing any repaints tonight because I want to record um, the next episode of The Real Barbies of Atlanta. But, oh my gosh, she's just like so aggravating that I'm just like, you know, I might have to repaint immediately. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and open her up and show y'all how she looks outside the box. And I think I said it already, but she's not from Amazon. I haven't had any problems with any of my dolls that comes from Amazon. Um, she's from Toys R Us. Okay, so I'm back and I still haven't opened her because the more I look, the more disappointed I get. Now look on the side of her neck. Now what is that? Like, come on. It's like everything else about the doll is perfect. The clothes are perfect. Except the doll's head. And that's the most important thing. So I was sitting here trying to decide whether or not just to take her back and just return her because this dog got me so disappointed like i just don't even want the dog period no more i don't feel like going through returns and exchanges and all that um but i'm just gonna go ahead and open her up and i'm gonna do a face paint on her so uh, i've made my mind up and i'm gonna change her to a made to move body do y'all see what i mean if you look at her eye area look at her eye mold it's higher than it's supposed to be she has all kind of marks and glue all over the place. Oh well, I digress. Let me continue to open her up. Alright y'all, so I got her out the box. Um, I didn't wipe off her face or anything yet. I think it's this eye. This is... <laughs> Y'all, I'm not tripping. Like, let me know if I'm seeing things, but I'm not tripping. Like, this high eye is higher than that eye. They got her looking mad lopsided. Especially now that I got her out the box, I can really see what the problem is. You know what I mean? I would have to make her stand like this, you know, to, to make an optical illusion. You see what I'm saying? Like, that is crazy. Anyways, um, I do like the outfits that she comes with. She has on some cute little wedge boots or whatever. Alright, I think this outfit is cute. This is kind of like the, the kind of prep outfit that I did a fashion video on. It's kind of like the same design, basically just different print. She has this outfit that she comes with as well as this one. Okay. And... A pair of heels, which are really cute. Probably one of my favorite parts of the outfit. A clutch, which I love also. You can see the details up close. And a flower necklace. As well as the bag she's holding. Now, I do think that this bag is absolutely fabulous. It makes me want to add like bling or something to it. But even just as it is, it's perfect. Now it's about that time to go ahead and swap out her outfit so that we can see how she looks in these other clothes. So this first outfit is okay. Um, I will say what I do like about this outfit. I like the skirt. The skirt's really cute. I could put that on with something else. And I do like the shoes. As I told you, I love the heels. Um, but I'm really not crazy about this top. This top reminds me of like a hospital nursing scrub. You know, like when it when they get the ones that's like kind of decked out or whatever with decorations and stuff. That's what this top reminds me of. So I'm not crazy about this top. Um, 
at all. But that's how this outfit is. That's outfit number one. I think if I put that top on with these shorts, that's totally like a pajama set. <laughs> and then she has this necklace and I forgot to give her a bag. I guess she can hold this bag with this outfit. So, yeah. Okay, so now that we have her in her third outfit, I'm not going to lie, this is the outfit that I thought that I was going to like the least, um, but I actually really like this outfit. I think it's cute. It's way cuter than I thought it was going to be. It looks good. It doesn't look like pajamas when she has it on. Um, so yeah, I paired it with her yellow shoes. Alright, and then let me give you a close-up on the pants so that you can see the print. And then the top is kind of weird because I don't know how it's supposed to fit. Like, it's kind of lopsided like her face. <laughs> but, um, I think it's supposed to have that slant. Yeah, I'm looking at the box, so it's definitely supposed to have that slant. Um, so I guess that's how they designed it. But, yeah, so... This is how she looks. I want to see if I can show y'all her close-up. I don't have a macro lens on my camera. Um, I need to get one of those ASAP, but I want to show you her face close up. And really quickly, I want to show y'all my Destin, my doll that I named Destiny. Because they're pretty much supposed to have, like, a really similar face mold. And Destiny's over here on fleek, but, again, her face is just not right. And then let me get one more of my dolls. Alright, y'all, my bad. I had to get Brittany. She was actually relaxing in her bed. You can see she got her PJs on. She's having a little slumber party. Tune into the Real Barbies of Atlanta. But anyway, I thought these dolls were basically supposed to have, like, similar face molds. And I think that they are. But when you look at Brittany, let's take Destiny out the picture. Thank you, Destiny. When you look at Brittany and you look at this doll... Um, they're supposed to have pretty much the same face mold. They're just different complexions. And you can see Brittany's face is proportionate, especially when you look at her eye area, like her eyes are even. When you look at this half of the face, she's good. But when you look at this half of the face, um, two different faces. So I believe that's what happened with this dog. But like I said, I'm supposed to be recording the real Barbara of Atlanta, but I can't help it. I just have to repaint her face. So hopefully by the time I upload this video, I can show you her before and after. I'm trying to show y'all as close as possible one more time. But she has like black marks here, here. She has some glue going on on the side of her face. They just tore this part supposed to be pretty Barbie up. Like this was supposed to be the joint coming up in here so I'm gonna redo her face I'm not sure if I'm gonna put her on a made to move Barbie or not um I like to do that before I paint the face though so I'm gonna have to make my mind up but anyways I'll be back and I guess I'm gonna have a before and after in this video as well Okay, y'all, so I'm back. <laughs> this has been, like, the longest video ever because I did a face-up in between. Anyways, this is what she looks like now. Let me know what y'all think that I should name her. Also, let me know how y'all feel about the face-up. I did record this face-up. I didn't get to record my first one, but I took pictures. So I'm going to be posting that video if I haven't already by the time I post this. But that will be my first official face-up video. So let me know what y'all think about her and if y'all want to see more videos like that. And also, um, you know, just let me know what you think about these girls in general, what you think about their outfits. But I would like to say I feel a lot better now. I'm happy with how she looks. And um, I think she looks Arabian. She looks... Like, she has some Arabian going on in her blood. So, I gotta think of a good name to name her. I don't know. I'm thinking, like, look, it's Raya. It's Ray. I don't know. <laughs> y'all help me out with the name for her. But anyways, um, I love y'all. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Oh, and I'm back really quickly. I thought of a name for her. Her name is going to be Isis. And no, not what you may have heard of Isis in the news lately, but after the goddess Isis. So I think that would take her well. Anyways, y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all think. And again, I love y'all. Bye. Bye.